to episode 21 of the Cozy Moth Knits podcast. My name is Caitlin and this is a podcast dedicated to my craft of knitting, um, my uh, attempt at crochet, um, my desire to want to spin but I've yet to teach myself, um, another attempt at embroidery <laughs> but it's like mostly knitting um but this is a podcast dedicated to what I do in my spare time <laughs> and um me taking you along on this journey with me um so I am filming this the day after Thanksgiving it is a very blustery day here in northern Delaware um and if you hear a gust of wind um that's what it is. I'm on the third floor of my townhouse, so you know, higher elevation, the wind is a little bit more blustery. Um, so how are we all doing today? Um, I am still recovering from Turkey Day yesterday. Um, I, um, I, uh, I normally host Thanksgiving with my family. Um, I invite my immediate family, my parents, my brothers and sisters, and my husband's immediate family. Um, only his parents could attend this year. Um, his brother and his wife were a little bit busy, um, but uh, we all sit around our dining room table. Um, we try to ignore my dogs as they, um, as they beg for food all the time. Um, but I make a turkey, I make a couple sides, um, I decorate the house. Um, it, it's a big deal for me and it's like, the one time that I get to host every one of my family, um, my house isn't really big enough for, um, for hosting things. Um, so, but I still attempt to do it all the time, but, um, but yeah, so it is, uh, it was a big deal for me. I had a lot of fun. Um, it was the first time my dad could actually attend. Um, my parents have a nonprofit organization that, um, benefits the homeless and low income community in my hometown. And normally on Thanksgiving day, my dad is busy doing that. They have like a big Thanksgiving celebration for everyone. Um, but they're in between um, building situations at the moment. So they didn't really have one this year. So this was my dad's first time in 12 years and actually being there for Thanksgiving with us. So it was a really big deal. And we all had fun and enjoyed each other's company and it just made me happy. It was definitely something that I was thankful for. Um, so I know Thanksgiving is, America, is an American holiday and, um, and uh, though I'm not um, happy with the history of Thanksgiving. Uh, I don't agree with it at all, of course. Um, I, um, I do just, I just use it as a day to get together with my family and reflect on what we've been thankful for, um, expressing gratitude to each other and what um, our great Lord has given us. But in response to, um, you know, the, how we reflect on what Thanksgiving means for our, our country, I wanted to, um, our country meaning America and in uh, the United States, um, I wanted to acknowledge that I am living and filming this on native land and I'm using resources like native-land.ca uh, to acknowledge that I am recording this podcast on the traditional land of the Lenape and Nanakoke peoples. Um, I recommend that you guys take a look, uh, Americans and Canadians especially, um, use this resource native-land.ca to um, remind yourself that we are on native land and native people are still here and um, that's something that we need to keep in mind consistently. <laughs> um, but just wanted to throw that out there if you guys are interested. Um, it is something that I definitely reflected on uh, yesterday and um, maybe you guys can reflect on it as well. So <laughs> uh, moving on from that, I, that was just something that I really wanted to share with you guys and I felt really compelled to do that. Um, so moving on from that, I wanted to talk to you about what I've been working on. <laughs> um, I do have quite a few works in progress and only one. <laughs> finished object. Um, the whole month of November uh, seemed to fly by super quickly and um, I'm running out of time <laughs> and uh, it's, it's stressing me out a little bit but I'm trying I'm going to try to get through. Uh, but I guess I'll start with my one finished object and it is a Christmas present for my sister and it is the uh, Oslo hat by Petite Knit. And I knit it in this really pretty um, beige um, alpaca. It's a little bit fuzzy, you can probably see. 
but yeah, this is the Oslo hat. It is not blocked yet. Um, I do. I did also make a matching one in gray for my other sister. <laughs> uh, hers was knitted in cashmere uh, or a, a wool cashmere blend, and this is um, alpaca. And there's definitely a difference in fabric. Um, but I'll try it on so you guys can see. Um, it's definitely a cute little little hat. A little bit floppy in the back. Uh, I made it a little bit bigger than the other one uh, because my sister has uh, big hair <laughs> and uh, I didn't want it to like smush her head. Um, but yeah, and I feel like this color matches her aesthetic currently. Um, very much, she's very much into the neutrals and I thought that this would be a good neutral accessory. I gotta fix my hair. <sighs> And, and yeah, this is the other one that I made, the one in gray. Just trying it on for you guys. And it's about the same, but the fabric definitely knit up a little bit differently, um, even though I use the same size needles for both. Um, this is just like slightly bigger than this one. Um, but yeah, I'm proud of both of them, I think. I really hope that my sisters like them. I know they're not like a traditional like Carhartt or Champion beanie, but um, they'll definitely keep their head and their ears warm during the winter and Delaware can get pretty cold. We don't get a lot of snow, but we definitely get those deep chills. Uh, we ha we always have like um, uh, the polar vortex hits us pretty hard. Um, so hopefully they'll get some use out of these hats. Um, I highly recommend this hat. It's very interesting construction. Um, I won't give too much away, but it's like on your ears, it's like, it's three layers of fabric. Um, I, I won't give much away because it's a paid for pattern, but it's three layers of fabric over the ears. Um, I kind of like, it kind of threw me off when I first knit this one. I was like, does this make, like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, but now that I finished both of them, it makes sense. Um, but they're pretty great hats. I think I would definitely make myself one in the future. Um, I knit both of them using two strands of um, fingering weight yarn to make a DK weight. Um, and I'm very pleased with the result. Um, I've been, I think for all the hats that I'm knitting so far, it's been held with two strands of fingering weight yarn. And I really like how the fabric turns out. Um, it's really good. Um, it's a really nice uh, density. Um, so yeah, that is my only finished object. Um, I don't have much, like, um, I mentioned earlier, but I don't really have much to share today. So it's going to be kind of a quick <laughs> episode. Um, but I'll spend a little bit more time talking about a couple other things. Um, so, okay, moving on from finished objects, I'm going to work on, t or <laughs> move on to works in progress. And my first work in progress is in my Ritual Jives 2021 Summer Solstice bag. Even though we are far past summer at this point, I just love their moon pouches. They're like the perfect size. But in this pouch, I have um, a, <laughs> oh, it's coming undone. I have a Musselberg hat that I'm making <laughs> for my brother for Christmas. Um, it is it is at the point now where I need to start decreasing. Uh, the good thing I looked ahead because um, I was just gonna start decreasing right before I started filming, uh, but I saw a little note saying like, hey, make sure you uh, weave in your your um, your loose ends before you um, before you start decreasing. And that was really good advice. Uh, so I need to do that first before I start the decreases. Uh, but this has taken me so long and not because like it's, it's a long project, I don't think. I think it's just because I've been so busy <laughs> with life and with work. Um, I started this in the middle of November and we're now to the end of November. So my hope is to have this done before Sunday. Um, I'm filming this on a Friday. Just because I just want to have it done. I just want to finish it. I want to put it away. I want to put it in the pile. Uh, but yes, yeah, so this is um, this is what I'm using. I used um, Knit Picks. I think it was a uh, Nick Pit, yeah, Knit Picks Gloss Fingering in the colorway Harvest, which is like this really beautiful, deep goldenrod color. It looks a little bit more orange on camera, but it, it's a really good color, I think. I think it looks good with my skin tone. Um, but yeah, um, 
I picked the Musselburgh hat because it's very versatile. Um, you can wear it loose, like a loose fitting beanie, or you can uh, roll up the hem and make it a little more close fitting to the head. Um, I wanted to give my brother some options <laughs> with how he wore this hat, and uh, I really do hope he likes it. Um, and uh, so that's this hat. And then I'm going to make a second Musselburgh hat for my dad for Christmas. And I'm gonna knit it in uh, Knit Picks gloss fingering in the colorway Rosemary, which I feel like it was like <laughs> the same color as my sweater almost. Um, but I feel like it would fit his personality very well. Um, a lot of his hats are like black and gray and like I had a little bit more color <laughs> into it. It's not like bright like a big change but it's still a neutral and I think that um that he would like it hopefully I've been enjoying the muscle burk hat I don't know why people hate it so much um I, I guess like in the beginning I did the um I didn't do any of the uh closed cast ons that um that were suggested uh I actually did the um it was the one cast on that I did, oh, Judy's Magic Cast On or something. Um, I'll put it right here, I can't remember the name of it. But um, I learned that one from knitting my bellish socks that were toe up. And um, I feel like it worked out pretty fine. Um, the other the other option, like that's the, and I'll close that up, of course. Like it's not gonna be perfect, but like I like how it turned out. Like the other options were like to do like, a magic circle crochet method and um, just put it on your DPNs. And I started this uh, in public out and about and I didn't have a crochet hook with me and I really didn't want to deal with it. So I'm like, I'll just do the Judy's Magic Cast on. It, it's the same thing. <laughs> so, um, and it worked out for me. Um, it was a little fiddly in the beginning, but that's to be expected. But then it was just like smooth sailing um, from then on just did decreases up to here, and then just knit in the round all the way, or increases up to here, then knit uh, 20 inches, <laughs> and then I'm gonna start the decreases again, and then you fold it within itself. Um, hopefully in the next couple weeks, I'll show you uh, the finished product. Um, but I'm really enjoying this. I think I would um, definitely make it again. Well, I'm gonna make another one. Uh, but after Christmas, I think I would make another one. Um, I'll probably make one for my husband, um, who is in need of some more hats. Um, so yeah, that's my Musselberg hat. Um, yeah, it's coming all, it's so, it's such, it's so interesting. It's so weird how, um, how the pattern writer came up with it, but it's ingenious, I think. Um, so yeah, I got I just gotta um, weave in the ends on the inside and then start decreasing and then I'll be done. <laughs> well, I gotta block it, but I don't think I'm gonna wet block any of my hats. I think I'm just gonna steam block them because I'm just afraid of growth. <laughs> Um, and should I have, you know, done a swatch and blocked it? Yes, but I don't like to swatch for hats. <laughs> I feel like this is just personal. I'm not saying it is for everyone. I feel like for me, it's a waste of time and I just wanted to get to it. Sorry. Um, well, that's just me and my opinions. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's the Musselburg hat. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's what everyone else is calling it. So, <laughs> so yeah, muscle bird hat, work in progress. Number one, apologies for May barking. It wouldn't be a Cozy Moth Knits video without May barking in the background. Um, work in progress number two, I'm just going to show you real quickly uh, because I'm making a whole video about it, is a little bit more progress on my sweater that I'm making for Bellish. Um, I'm about halfway done the back panel and then all I have left to do is the neck and the sleeves. This is going to be my Christmas sweater. I'm pleased with it so far. I think it'll be a really good Christmas sweater this year and I am just stoked for it. Again, that's all I'm going to show you because you're going to get a whole video about it. And I'm sure you're going to get really tired of me talking about it then um so that was real quick um and then work in progress number three i mean i guess work in progress number three is technically the montrealer sweater for my husband uh that i have i haven't picked up in like two months <laughs> i just have the hood to do and i just cannot i just can't i just have no interest in doing the hood right now um 
I told him it'll be done by the end of the year. He's not really like itching for it, but I wanted it to be done by Thanksgiving, but I just, I just couldn't get to that point. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before on here, um, but I did get a part-time job working at a local library. Um, and uh, that has taken up a lot of my free time. <laughs> I work my full-time job during the day and then I work this I work at this library late into the evening, uh, very late, like 7 to, seven p.m. to 11 p.m. <laughs> uh, on weeknights and then all day on Saturday. Um, so a lot of my free time um, is non-existent. <laughs> so if I don't think, I don't think if I had that part-time job, like that, his Montreal sort of would have been done. My, you know, like all this stuff would have been done weeks ago, <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, so work in progress number three, I guess, I guess technically number four, but I'm not going to show you the Montrealer again. You can go back to my previous episodes and see where I am because there's been no change. Um, but I decided to start the season sweater by, oof, by Ozetta. And voila here we go i'm about to finish up the sleeve i just started doing the cuff on it um and i decided to do this thing where i do the sleeves first and then the body um so we'll see how that goes but i am really stoked about this sweater so far um i just sorry is the clanging are these two needles that i have my um my body hanging on um but it's, I'm, I'm in love with it so far. It's really squishy <laughs> and um, I'm just so excited to wear this. I probably won't be done for a while. I don't think I'll be able to finish it by the end of the year, but who knows, maybe I'll surprise myself. Uh, because it is Fisherman's Rib, it takes like twice as long to add length because you're knitting one, like, cause you're knitting the stitch under. So it's like, it's like one step forward, it's like two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, like, you know, you know what I mean? Um, so it is taking some time. Um, one thing I can say, or one thing that I'm not really happy, I guess it's like my, I can't, I don't know if it's me. Um, I'm going to say it's me, <laughs> but the decreases on the sleeves, I am not really pleased with. Um, I mean, on camera, they don't look that bad. I mean, like there's an obvious hole right there, but I'm not very happy with myself and how I did the decreases. Um, and there's some points that I can see where I like clearly messed up, but it's on the underarm. So it's not like many people are going to see it, but I know it's there. So um, a little disappointed in myself about those, but it is what it is. I, I mean, it's a beautiful sweater and I can't wait to wear it, but it's definitely going to be one of those things where I'm like, don't look too closely. <laughs> because um you know I do there are some little things that I messed up on like even like here I did a little mess up uh, I might just be going back with a darning needle and closing up some things but we shall see but hopefully next time I do a podcast I'll at least have the second sleeve done and, and the majority of the body that's my hope I need to finish that red sweater first before I finish this that's my my intention and I'm knitting this with, um, <laughs> I am knitting this with, um, Ozetta's wool. It's 100% Colombian wool. It's worsted weight. Um, I don't know if she's selling any right now. I got this, uh, early last year and I'm just finally knitting it up and I'm holding it double with knit picks out, um, aloft, I think. And that's their, uh, mohair, mohair silk. And it's just in a beige colorway. And I think it adds a little bit of warmth to the sweater uh, because that's more of that scheme that I show you is like a cool tone beige. And this adds a little bit more warmth to it. I'm digging more uh, warm tone colors even though I'm wearing this cool tone sweater. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's the sweater. Um, and I guess like I, I'll talk to you about a little... Um, uh, I talked in the past about how I wanted to make um, a hat from how so I had my two hats done for my sister's 
my hat for my brother is almost done and then I have a hat for my dad, another Musselberg, and then I was going to make the minted hat by Andrea Mallory for my mom. But as we get closer and closer to Christmas, I know I'm not gonna have enough time <laughs> to make it. Um, so I decided that I was, that I'm going to make my mom a different hat and it's going to be the Poofy Poof hat by Jessie May. And this is a hat made out of super bulky, <laughs> super bulky yarn and um it's just adorable i'm going to nix the the poof for my mom because i don't think my mom would vibe with the ginormous poof on top of her hat uh, but i don't know maybe she would i'll ask her about it uh, once i give her the hat and i can always just make her a pom-pom but actually i guess you're not really getting much information on here but um but yeah the poofy poof hat um, and I have, and I already have a bunch of super bulky yarn because I had this intention of knitting. If any of you are familiar out of anything outside of knitting YouTube, it's, um, the, you might know the YouTuber with the most amount of subscribers ever individually is PewDiePie, Felix Shelberg. Um, and his wife, Marcia Shelberg, is a knitter. She taught herself how to knit during the pandemic and she has produced a couple patterns. And I was going, I wanted to knit her first sweater pattern. And so I bought all this yarn for it, <laughs> but then I just never got around to making it. And like her yarn or that sweater isn't really my style anyway, unfortunately. Um, so I was like, well, when am I gonna wear it? Like why, like, I had all these intentions and it just didn't end up happening. But I have both, I think I'm gonna make it out of this one. I have this like yellowy, like like a butter, <laughs> like a uh, like a butter um, colored super bulky yarn. And I, there's also this white super bulky. Um, I'm not sure which color I'm gonna do for my mom, um, but I think both are really good options. This one's more like a roving and this is, um, how many plies is this? Let's look. It doesn't say how many plies, but I'm sure it's like 20. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five. It's like seven ply, um, yeah, seven ply. This is a little bit softer. And this is definitely more wooly, but I like this color a little bit more than the butter. <laughs> and then I also have uh, this pink, this blue, and this yellow. And I think that um, I might just make some hats with them. Um, <laughs> there is, there was a young girl in my youth group because I did, we, I took our youth group, or me and my husband took our youth group on a retreat in the middle of November. And I brought my knitting with me. I was working on a Musselberg hat because, you know, that was the easiest thing I could take with me. And one of the girls was like, can you make me a hat? I was like, yes, I'll make you a hat. So I figured I'll make her a poofy poof. Probably in that pink color. Maybe I'll do pink for my mom. I feel like my mom would like the pink. And maybe that, little, that girl would like the blue. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, but yeah, the only downside is that it's, it is really wooly, this guy. It's beautiful, beautiful color, but it's very wooly. It is 100% uh, wool. Um, it is super wash. No, it's not. I thought it was. So you need to hand wash it. Maybe if I wash it, um, it would soften up a little bit or, uh, or at least felt, but we'll see. So that's really all I have to show you. Unfortunately, I wish I had more to show you um, in terms of projects that I'm working on, uh, but that's really it. Um, but I did want to take this like final time to talk to you about uh, kind of what I have planned for December. Um, if you've been around since the beginning of the Cozy Moth Knits, which has only been about a little over a year, last December I did, um, I did Vlogmas. Um, and they, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I'm happy I did it, but in hindsight, I didn't 
show a lot. It was a lot of me just being like, okay, now I'm doing this thing and then not showing you because <laughs> I was too nervous. Um, and then, but I also had an advent, a yarn advent to show you guys. Um, but I think I'm going to do Vlogmas again. I don't think I'm going to be as involved. I don't think it'll be so much like talking vlogs, but I feel like it's going to be more like, um, not so much silent, but not nearly as, as much me talking, um, you know, with restrictions lightening up a lot here in Delaware, there's a lot more places I can go and do, and I can, you know, show you the process of me, you know, preparing for parties that I'm hosting, this, that, and the other. Um, I have two yarn advents this year, um, and, uh, so that would be exciting to show you guys. Um, I'll probably also talk about my plans for 2022 in terms of knitting. Um, I do have a new planner set up that I would like to show you guys. Um, but yeah, I feel like I have more to show you this year. Um, I will still talk, but I don't think it'll be mostly talking. I feel like I, I like vlogs where it's also like there's a lot of like just um, showing you what's happening and then some nice music in the background. Um, just like a relaxing, chill kind of situation. And I think I'm going to focus more on that this year instead of me just talking about what I did that day and then being like, okay, bye. <laughs> you know, um, I'm going to make it probably make it a little bit more produced, a little bit more intentional. Um, but I hope you guys like it. If you have any, any, um, if there's anything that you want to see from me during Vlogmas, um, go ahead and write it down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys because I'm making this for you. <laughs> like, I want to know what you want. Um, again, I'm doing two yarn advents. Um, I have, you know, events that I'm attending this year, um, parties that I'm planning, um, you know, again, the, the planner set up, my intentions for 2022, like there's a lot that I could fill, um, that I can, that I can do during that, during Vlogmas. Um, they probably won't be very long. <laughs> They'll probably just be short and sweet, but, um, but I'm excited for it. I feel, I feel like it'll go. It'll go pretty well, I think. I hope. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think that's really all I have to share with you today. Um, sorry that it's not a very long vlog, uh, but maybe a lot of you are, guys are like, oh, thank God. <laughs> it's only a half an hour. <laughs> like, I can handle this. Like, I don't know how Caitlin goes on talking for an hour plus about knitting. <laughs> but but yeah, so, but okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit, click that subscribe button. Um, I'm 10 subscribers away from the time that I'm posting this, 10 subscribers away from hitting 2,000 followers. And once I hit 2,000 followers, I think I've decided that I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, I don't know what it's going to look like just yet, but I'm going to do a giveaway for hitting 2,000 subscribers, and I have talked in the past that I want to get a moth tattoo um, in celebration of hitting 2,000 subscribers. Um, I know it's like a big deal, you know, putting it permanently on my body, but it, it, moths are very s special to me, so it's not like just this, but like it's a big part of it. Um, so if you want to possibly win a giveaway and as well as possibly see me get this small tattoo, uh, do hit that subscribe button. Um, I've been like stuck just below 2000 subscribers for so long and I just want to hit that deadline or hit that goal before the end of the year. Maybe I feel like that'll be very symbolic. Um, so again, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and also give me a follow over on Instagram at the Cozy Moth Knits. I'm also on Ravelry at Cozy Moth Knits, though I'm not very active on there. But if you want to give me a follow, go ahead. <laughs> um, but Instagram is where I'm most active. Feel free to send me a DM or comment on a picture or, you know, tag me in some funny memes. I do love some some great memes. Um, so you can tag me in those. Um, but other than that, I think I'm just going to leave this right here. Um, I enjoy spending this time with you, even though it was just a quick little visit. Um, I'm happy that I uh, have you all in my lives. You guys make, um, this, you know, you guys are what I am thankful for this year for 
you know, Thanksgiving or the day of thanks as we want to, we're trying to rebrand it. Um, if we're reflecting on what we're thankful for during this, this season, um, I am thankful for you guys. You um, have changed my life <laughs> in a great and very positive way. And I just want to thank you all for that. And you are all very special to me. And um, yeah, you just mean so much to me. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to leave this right here. Um, I hopefully will be posting Vlogmas, if uh, the first episode of Vlogmas, if not next week, probably not next week, because you'll only get like two days. <laughs> um, but if not next week, then the following week, definitely. Um, I think I'll probably do it on Sundays like I did last year. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, so stay safe, everyone. Keep knitting and I will see you all later.